Welcome to our video on artificial clay tennis court after play maintenance. An artificial clay tennis court benefits from after play maintenance to maximise its daily playing characteristics, its longevity and minimise the need for costly top up fill. Five minutes of the player's time after their session ends is all that is needed. Simple drag brushing of the surface by players followed by brushing of the court lines will help keep the artificial clay evenly spread over the court surface and at the recommended levels and the lines free of infill and more visible. Using a stiff bristle drag brush with a smoothing mat attached is an ideal and easy way of carrying out the drag brushing. Start at the rear of the enclosure or at the net line and drag brush in an elliptical motion working your way either in towards the net line or out towards the rear of the enclosure. Make sure that the area being drag brushed includes the runoff areas, not just the playing surface. The principles of drag brushing the court is to collect dispersed clay infill and carry it back onto the playing surface and then evenly spread it out. The stiff bristles of the drag brush will collect and carry the clay infill, dropping it gradually over the surface. The smoothing mat will then evenly spread the fill. The elliptical motion of drag brushing will allow the brush to collect excess clay infill from the perimeters and runoff areas, where it is most likely dispersed to, and bring it back onto the main playing area. It is therefore important to ensure that the drag brushing includes the entire court area and not just the playing surface. If the surface is wet, common sense should prevail when trying to carry out after play drag brushing and line brushing. If the clay is binding together and not being evenly spread out because it is wet, then it makes no sense to continue. In such circumstances, club members or facility managers should take steps to carry out the drag brushing when the weather allows. Ideally, the clay fill should cover the surface approximately 2mm above the fibres of the stabilisation mat, the thickness of a 2p coin, with no stabilisation mat fibres visible above the level of the fill. Once completed, return the drag brush to the storage area on the court. Tap the smoothing mat gently to release any fill from it. This fill can be recycled and transported back onto the playing area at a later date. The lines should be brushed off using the line brush. The line brush will rotate brushing the fill off the lines. For the line brush to be effective, it needs to be at a certain angle and only trial and error will dictate this. Sometimes the rotating brush will stick. Simply alter the angle slightly and continue. Sometimes you may need to go over the lines again. Base lines may require two passes of the line brush given they're often wider. When completed, return the line brush to the storage area on the court. This completes our short demonstration video on how to carry out after play maintenance for artificial clay tennis courts. We hope you found it useful. For further information and advice, please contact us. Thank you.